Alright guys, just got my first fish on of 2013 on a, this is a really small bass here guys, but on a jackal crankbait, it's the jackal aska and purple chartreuse, small bass. Super tiny bass to start the year, guys, but it is a fish. Um, the lake just unthawed a couple days ago, I think, so the water's pretty cold here still. Let's throw him back real quick. So, um, made quite a few casts already. Just moved to this spot not that long ago, and I was catching them here last last year as well in this spot after the winter. So, we'll see if we can keep on with this crankbait, and then uh, we'll see if we can find some other patterns as well, and hopefully get some bigger fish. Stay tuned. All right, guys, another another fish on that jackal crankbait. Um, not another, a little better than the last size. Not, not much better though. Small, but he is a fish. Looks like he sideswiped it. I'm up here. Tipped all crazy. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, a little better fish. I'll take them. I'll take anything at this point. There you go, guys. Another small 12 incher, probably. But he's a fish. Got a nice little belly to him. That was on the Jackal Aska crankbait. I believe it's the 50 size or the 60. I don't remember. There he goes. I just caught him right off this uh, rack ledge right here. And the first one was right off this uh, rack ledge, too. So um, I'm fishing the north side of the lake. So this side's much warmer than most of the other part of the lakes. So I'm hoping. There's some decent fish up here still. I mean, that are moved in, then they'll uh, feed or whatever. So we'll see if we can get some more. Another fish on, guys, on that jackal. Aska. Um, oh, it's side hooked. Big old crappie. Snagged him. This is a big old crappie, too, if I can get him up here. Wow. <sighs> That's a monster crappie. <laughs> he side hooked, so it's not really a catch. Plus, I'm not a, uh, I'm not fishing for these anyway. But I don't know how I side hooked them. <clears throat> but there he is. Look at that slab of a crappie, guys. Wow. That's like. It's gotta be close to a pound right there. That's a big Illinois crappie. Sorry for the belly flop. Um, yeah, again, this is what I'm throwing right now. It's a Jackal Aska crankbait, purple chartreuse, square bill. So, we'll see if we can get some more.
There we go, guys. Much better fish right there. Decent. Another small one, guys. But we'll take them. First, first fishing of the year for me. Another small, 12 incher, still on the Jack Alaska. You guys hooked up again. <clears throat> Another small one, but it's a fish. Tire them out. Either. Alright guys, another, another fish on here, um, I switched over to the KV 1.5 and a chartreuse black back. Better fish too. Here we go. Oh yeah. Barely hooked guys, it came right out. Already. Another decent fish guys. Pounders. I mean I'm just happy to be out catching them. Really nice out, it's in the 60s today. I think it's supposed to get up to 60. Feels like it already though, that's for sure. There he goes. That's the KVD 1.5 in black chartreuse. And um, I threw the um, Asker around everywhere. I uh, probably for about another hour with no other hits. So I just came back here and tied on a different bait and that was the first fish on uh, the KVD 1.5. So. Um, water levels are still like a foot or two low, probably two feet low, but it's a lot better than it was. This was like all dry this winter, so I'm kind of happy it filled up because I didn't think this marina was going to be fishable, but 
It actually filled up quite a bit, which I'm surprised because we really didn't have any snow. But um, we'll see if we can keep at them. I'm glad to be back out. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, and uh, we'll see if we get some more. Better fish. Best one of the day right here probably. Huh? About the same size. A little bigger. Running around like a maniac though. Felt like a better fish, but there he is, another 12, 12 incher pounder, probably not even maybe. Still, still out here catching them, so. Go. There he goes. Let's see if we get some more. Sorry about that guys, it took a little minute. But um there he is, another another little guy. First bass on the new jig guys. <clears throat> First bass on the new jig. These things are crazy guys. Look, we're hooking them too. Right on the roof of the mouth. See where that hook came out right there? Right by his eye. Just missed his eye. Good thing too. That is crazy, guys. I'm going to get a picture of that really quick. So give me one second. <clears throat> just switched to the jig. Um, I, I just recently got pro staffed by these guys too. So I'm glad I just caught a fish with this uh, bait. Right on the roof of the mouth. Hold on. Try 
I get another shot of the, uh, the jig in there somehow. Alright. Yeah, I was just, uh, flipping the docks right here. And get them unhooked here. This is the, um, this is not even the Pro Series either. It's just a regular old new jig. There he is. Nice little pounder. Drop him right in there. So there it is. Hold on, let me fix it. I'll show you guys. The, just some the black and blue style one and I got a Berkeley trigger car on the back of there um, I didn't have a chance to put uh, the power team lures on there this is just what I had on me so that's what's on there so we'll see if we can get some more alrighty guys I'm gonna head out for today um, didn't have a whole bunch of time to fish but I did want to get out because it was 60 degrees today nice and sunny warm pretty calm for the most part for the most part so I thought I'd get out and uh, come fishing. The lake just unthawed here a couple days ago and then um, had some rain and some really high winds so today was like the the most decent day to come out this week because I think the next couple days are supposed to be rain so had to come out and uh, caught I think like 10 bass or so um, caught on the uh, Jack Alaska crankbait uh, KVD 1.5 caught one on the new jig also and um my setup i was using i guess i'll show you guys that really quick um this is a tournament um speed spool by lose and then i got a rick clun uh glass rod seven foot medium heavy right there um really nice combo i really like it really like the rod and then the other one which you guys have seen before is the um, Shimano Sitica and the Veritas. So those are the combos I used today. Um, this one has 50 pound braid on it, suffix, and that one has 30 pound braid, suffix. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was good to get out again. And I've messed fishing a lot. So um, from here and from here till winter again, I'll be trying to pump out as many videos as I can for you guys. Um, summer I'll be a lot more busier this year than I was last year but I'll definitely still get out and make a ton of videos videos for you guys so um, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time later Give me a second guys, gotta be careful unhooking these three chebbled baits here. Alright guys, there he is right there, decent pounder, that's on the uh, Spromic stick, 
in a cellmate color, the 110 size. Decent fish. Best fish of the day, guys. I actually came back out. I got off work early today. I thought I was going to have to work tonight, and I didn't have to. So I got to come back, and I got a, a really nice largemouth, guys, on the spro. Mixed stick here. A really nice one. He's probably only two pounds, but he's bigger than I would have been catching. I can get them in. I mean, it's a nice one too, guys. Come on in here, fatty. Oh man, it's a nice one. Ignore the phone. <laughs> Come on. Come on in here, buddy. Oh, come here. Oh, it's a nice one. Such a nice fish. Oh, come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Look at this tank. Wow. Let me try to get up. Wow, guys. Oh, my. This is how you start off 2013. Hold on. Wow. On the Spro Mix Stick 110 and Cellmate, catching a slob. This is still the same day as my first video, April 7th. First fishing trip of the season. First time coming out. Went out earlier for a little while, caught all dinks. Now I got this beast. Look at this slob, guys. Oh my. Let me get the uh, scale out of here. Let me just grip them really quick so I can get them unhooked. Wow. What a beast. Oh my goodness. Let's give this guy a weight here. Four pounds, three ounces. My God. What a beast of a fish, guys. Oh my goodness. What a hog. Let's see if I can set him down. I set my hat cap or hat cam down. I'm not sure if you guys can see this really well here. But oh my. What a fish. Let's see if my thing will stay right there. There you go. Look at the size of that. What a nice large mouth. My god guys. I am pumped. One last glance at this four pound three ouncer. What a beast, guys. Oh my goodness. Off she goes. Man, guys. Hit like a brick. Hammered that, that jerk bait. Um, 
I killed them on this bait last year too. This thing caught me so many big fish last year. There it is. This Bro Mix Stick 110 size suspending jerk bait and cellmate. <laughs> I'm loving the Spro lineup, guys. Especially the jerk baits. I really like them a lot. Last year I caught a lot of four pounders off of them. Definitely recommend picking some of those bad boys up. They're really nice. So are the Lucky Craft pointers too. Those are just as good, if not better. But I really like the Spro ones. Whew. Heart is going now. All right, guys, so. We'll see if we can keep at them, see if we get another one. Um, it's gotta be getting close to seven o'clock. Sun's going down pretty quick now. So if that's the last fish for the day, I'm fine with that. So we'll see if we can get some more before I have to head out. Uh, stay tuned. Another one on the Spro stick, guys. Another decent one, I'm catching Catching a lot more decent fish on this. Oh, we came off right there. All right, get right back out there. Saying so, I'm hooking way more decent fish on uh, this than I am the square bills and stuff. I didn't really set the hook on them. Got him. God, he hit it so fast. I just gotta be careful, that's why I'm sending them on the ground guys, because I don't want to get hooked. There he is guys, a little bit of blood, I don't know why. There he is, we'll get down here for the release. Ooh. Nice little largey. Whoa! <laughs> Hyper, holy crap. All right, 
We'll see if we get some more. Last fish of the day, guys. Sun's just setting down. Probably gonna end it on this one right here. He ain't big. Gotta watch out for these hooks. That's the tricky part. There he is, guys. Can't really see it. There you go, see it better. Boom. Sun's going down. Throwing that Spromix stick. Had a really good day today. Caught those 10 or 11 earlier. Um, got off of work and didn't have to work tonight, so I got to come back out and catch that four pounder, which was awesome. But I'll make like a couple more casts because that's what fishermen do. They say it's their last cast and they throw a couple more anyway. So I'll throw a couple more and then I'll head out of here. Um, I will be back to you guys in a minute if I catch anything.